Hi, welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. We're going to do a really exciting video here looking at a spring. Uh, the only way this video can be exciting is if you've looked high and low for this spring and you can't find one and now you have. This spring is used on a handle, uh, it can be on a mortise lock, uh, it can be on a regular type handle where in the center here you would have your square drive and this part of the spring would go into that. On the top you would probably have a screw or somewhere that this would be held and when the handle is rotated this spring goes smaller and when you release the handle it springs back so basically your handle will go down and bounce back up if you've got an old handle and you can't find a spring this is about the only spring we could find in this size so from there you'd have to sort of make it work and make it fit I'll give you some sizes on this spring um, as far as uh, anything more about it it's just basically a a high tensile uh, spring steel uh, shaped in the snail formation. So I'll do some sizes on the outside first with my vernier calipers. Measuring from both sides, well from top to bottom of the spring here I've got 35 mil. Measuring it for height I've got 2.4, well 2.5 mil. Thickness, probably a bit hard to Got about one mil. The actual uh, coil, you could say, would be about 27 mil. The actual leg on the inside here probably goes in about five mil. And as far as the hook section here, I'll try and measure that as well. About eight mil on that. Uh, the rest of the sizes, um, it's very hard to measure a spring because it does change size. But from this side to this side here, we're looking about 28 mil. So generally speaking, about 28 mil there. So when you look at this spring, you'll probably see it in your handle in this formation. Uh, there'll be most likely a screw here, as there is with a lot of leggy type handles. And then you'll have your square drive, which is for the spindle, going through the lock and going through to the other handle. And you'll see that this little leg right here will be attaching to the square drive. Uh, sorry, attaching to where the square drive goes in and that's where it actually picks up and then compresses and bounces back. Of course they very commonly break, especially right at this point right here. And if that happens, well, you've got only a couple of choices, replace the spring or uncoil the spring and rebend it. But rebending it often leads to snapping it and a very weak handle. So this is a spring we now sell on our lock shop. We do have limited numbers and it's called a snail handle spring. Thanks for watching.